Ron McJosher, we love to make things. I've made all sorts of things for our house. So case in point, I needed an Apple Watch dock a while back, so we were camping and I chopped this one out of a piece of... Since I have plenty of other Apple products, I also created a charging dock for my phone. Now, some folks over at a company called One by One, which I think One by One would just be one, they reached out to me and they said, we have something that we would like you to check out. We think you'll like it. They call it the three-in-one power station. You can actually charge a phone, a watch, and two other things with it. Nice box. It's very, very apple-y. This piece of uh, wax paper, paper, a little manual, and here is the dock itself. It's kind of in this velvety, and a charging box. I like the build quality. Uh, it's solid aluminum, uh, except for the the lightning cable is included in the stand. And on the back side, you'll have to thread the cable for the watch into the dock. You can see these little tabs here. Those are for winding your cable around, which is a, a, a really good idea. Oh, kind of slips off. They should have, should have better indents on this. They don't really have little catches on it to hold the cable on. That would be nice. No, stay on. No. Okay, it's in there. Close the door. So I really like this arrangement where it, it, it kind of is a uh, pivoty. I like Pivity. You, you could put a triangular shaped phone in this if you wanted. If you have a case on your phone, it'll still work. And it, it has a nice rubber protector here. On the back side, we have the plug-in for the power adapter, as well as two USB ports. The cool thing about this dock is it's very much future and Android proof. So if you have an Android phone, you can plug it into these outlets. So I really like how they designed this watch stand. They cut it out perfectly here for the watch to sit in. It also is able to do it horizontally or, or in landscape, which is good. However, the way this is, it's not tipped. It, it, the angle is such that it, it should just be tipped a tiny bit more that way because if I tip it right there, it goes to nice stand mode. When I have it down Sometimes it's in nightstand mode, sometimes it's not. That's definitely a drawback. That angle should be just slightly. So I like this thing. I think it's a really great product. There's a couple things I really like. I really like the swivel base. I like the aluminum construction. I like the cable management, even though it's a pain. And I really like the charging box that you don't need a separate box to run your cables into. And I like the two USB ports. Uh, I dislike this angle slightly for the watch. I dislike the cable management, even though I like the cable management. If you own this thing, everybody travels, you're almost gonna need a second puck. Now, I'm not sure why one by one exactly wanted to send me something to review because I'm not a reviewer. And honestly, if I think about it, it's a little bit dangerous on their part.
So first off, this just looks a lot cooler. Uh, the black is very Batman-y. But let's see how it works. So we have the same arrangement for the puck. Now with the indents, this should stay in a little bit better, hopefully. So far much better. Overall, that is a much easier experience. <laughs> that was very easy compared to before. It now goes automatically into the nightstand mode. No question about it. You rotate it. Nightstand mode all the time. On the phone, it charges. And we can now plug in something like a speaker. If you guys are interested in purchasing this dock, one by one has sent me a discounted link. I'll put that in the description, as well as a link to the aux adapter and some of the tools I used. And if you guys have made it this far into the video and haven't shut it off, that must mean you're a true fan. And if you're a true fan and you haven't hit the subscribe button that I'm going to put up over here, you really should because then you'll get the updates on all the videos I put out, like this one from last week. Either way, check back next week. I will have another video for you. And I'll see you then. That's it.